on this bright day. We gather to be strong on this bright day. We fill the hills with song. I'd been out of college for a couple years and kind of, you know, did what most people do when they get out of college, get a job, and, uh, but I didn't feel like there was much meaning in what I was doing. I wasn't doing anything that seemed to be of much benefit to other people, um, and I just felt like there should be something more in my life. Every day, we make choices. Some are major turning points that affect our lives in a big way. They say something about who we are and what matters to us. Whether you want some time off from school or a break from the rat race. Maybe you're at a turning point, looking for a new direction and curious about what's out there. You should know about Innisfree Village. We're a life-sharing community of volunteers and staff who serve the continually evolving needs of coworkers. Coworkers are the adults with mental disabilities who live at Innisfree. Our home is a rolling 550-acre farm in Virginia, nestled against the Blue Ridge Mountains. Our mission is to help our coworkers lead productive, independent lives. Being a volunteer at Innisfree takes someone special, someone who welcomes challenge, who's looking for more than just the nine to five routine, Someone who doesn't always follow the pack, who really wants to make a difference. At Innisfree, there's no such thing as a typical volunteer. We're men and women who come from all over the US and around the world. We represent different ethnicities and backgrounds. Some of us are just starting out. Others want a new direction. You've heard about other service organizations. They do good things, but many of them are big and you can get lost in the shuffle. Innisfree is different. We're like an extended family. Everyone matters here. Volunteers serve with coworkers. They don't work for them. Everything we do is about cooperation and mutual support that makes us unique. I didn't feel like going to get a job necessarily and get an apartment and live by myself somewhere and so I knew I wanted to do something different. One of the things that really surprised me about coming to Innisfree was the family that I found and this unconditional love for life. I think maybe what I wanted was some sense of connectedness to people, to land, um, to a larger community, something I belong to. And I just wrote one sentence in my journal and it said, I went to Innisfree today and I think I shall go back to stay. At Innisfree, we're part of an active community running a farm. We rotate our time between the organic gardens, the weavery, bakery, and wood shop. Many of the products we make are sold in our shop, which is located in nearby Charlottesville, home to the University of Virginia. At Innisfree, we have a two-to-one ratio of two co-workers to one volunteer. So a lot of times you get to spend time you know, alone with co-workers, and, which helps to really get to know them really well. The division of the work is equal. It's in the same level. No one uh, has more job to do than the other people. If you already have skills in gardening, Woodworking or baking, that's great, but it's not required. Here we train every volunteer. Sometimes coworkers are the best teachers. We learn from each other. Innisfree can change how you see yourself and how others see you too. It's an opportunity to build character, get valuable real life experience, gain job skills you can take anywhere, and forge friendships that last a lifetime. Because I've come here, I I will never be able to do work that isn't meaningful to me in some way. You know, whatever it is I do from here, it's going to have to have a larger meaning for me. Casual Best describes our lifestyle at Innisfree. 
Each home typically has two volunteers serving as house parents for four coworkers. Together, everyone pitches in to do the shopping, cooking, cleaning, and laundry. Volunteers also manage household finances and help coworkers with their personal needs. But everyone has a space to call their own. Volunteers have private bedrooms. They also receive medical benefits and a monthly stipend to save or spend however they like. If you have a student loan from an American college, Innisfree can help arrange for deferment or maybe even help repay some of the loan. A typical day begins with breakfast in each home. Then, volunteers and coworkers begin rotating among workstations, which include the garden, bakery, weavery, community kitchen, and wood shop. We usually spend an hour and a half at each workstation, take a short break, and rotate to a different one. In the afternoon, volunteers have special one-on-one -on -one time with coworkers. It's also when we schedule different group activities and committee meetings. In the evening, dinner is served with the residents of each house eating together as a family unit in their own homes. Often, we meet afterwards for activities, such as games or a movie. But being an Innisfree volunteer is not just about work. In your off time, there's plenty to do and explore. Some of us pursue our passion for music and art. Innisfree also offers fitness and weight training activities. And we love going to Charlottesville to shop, see movies, and enjoy meals out. Each vo uh, volunteer in Innisfree has two days off, uh, plus we have vacation, 15 days vacation. On your days off, you can take advantage of it and do some stuff for yourself. The point is, being an Innisfree volunteer is about having a richer life, one with purpose, accomplishment, and fun, where you know you're doing something significant. It's a big commitment. Volunteers live at Innisfree for at least one year. Some choose to stay much longer. But how long you're here is only part of it. Being a volunteer takes someone with a lot of heart, who wants challenge and adventure, who believes in helping others and making a difference. Every choice we face signals a turning point in our lives. Consider starting yours at Innisfree.